This, I promise, is our last podcast on lists. And what we're going to look at is nesting lists or nested lists. So let's bring up Text Wrangler again. And I've already made a few changes. I've created a little table of what I call my family. And it consists of, it's an unordered table by the way, using circles. And it contains the items brothers, brothers-in-law, and sisters-in-law. So let's save that out just to see what we've got so far. And there's our circle bullets. Okay, so let's go back and let's say that I want to add a list of the names of my brothers with inside of this existing list. I can do that. In fact, I'm going to make it an ordered list. An ordered list within an unordered list. And let's change our type is equal to capital Roman numerals. Okay, so now we're going to come in and list list out my brothers. Now I'm going to do this in a way that is just going to be faster for us. So I'm going to take and highlight these two list tags, list on, list off. I'm going to highlight them, do an open apple C to copy them to my keyboard buffer. And then I'm going to hit Control or Open Apple V three more times. So I end up with a total of four. Get a little cut and paste. Okay, now I'd simply have to type in the names of my four brothers. There's Richard and Robert and Alan and Anthony. Now let's see what it looks like. So we're going to save it out and test our change. There we go. Now let's change that Roman numeral to a lowercase Roman numeral. So we'll go ahead and change that to I. Okay. Now you know, I would like to put in another group. I've got some brothers-in-law. So let's come in and let's put in an order list. This time we'll go type. Now we'll just leave this Arabic. Arabic digits or, or Arabic numerals are the default, so we don't have to do anything for that. We'll put in a new ordered list of my brothers-in-law. I only have a couple of them. The first one is Lloyd. And the second one is Jim. I actually do like the Arabic digits, number one Lloyd, number two Jim, as opposed to those Roman numeral digits. So I'm going to go back up to my brothers, and I'm going to take the type attribute out, and just leave the element OL. Okay, 
Now, let's put in Sister's in Law. Now, I'm not going to put them all in because I have a ton of Sister's in Law. Put a few in, and I'm going to try to speed it up using our friend cut and paste. No sisters, but I've sure been blessed with wonderful sisters in law like Emma and Linda and Adeline and Karen and several others but oh, I got room for one more let's put in Helen okay oh you know what I forgot Trudy sorry Trudy but I don't want to go too long so let's just save this out and test it okay there we go okay I can add more nested lists. For instance, I could list the children of my brothers and the children of my brothers-in-law and the children of my sisters-in-law. Uh, and I can nest it as deeply as I want. The trick is to always make sure that you end your tags. So that's why when I create an open tag, I immediately create a closing tag. That's all for now.